Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Since we're starting to learn a lot more about the Flash TV show, I thought it'd be fun to talk about my top five favorite Flash stories, and ones that obviously I hope get turned into stories on the TV show. Just to be clear though, they're probably gonna spend a lot of time during season one doing that origin story. You know, helping Barry Allen find his purpose and learn all about the Speed Force. I do think we'll see Barry Allen as a hero in season one, but I think it'll be season two before he starts to look like a superhero. I feel like a lot of superheroes are really selfish with their powers whenever they first get them. You know, until they get that Stan Lee speech, with great power comes great responsibility. Obviously this is the DC universe, but all characters get a version of that speech no matter where they come from. How awesome would it be if John Wesley Shipp was the one that gave Grant Gustin that Uncle Ben speech, even if it turns out that he's not Jake Eric. In case you're finding me for the first time, Wednesdays and Thursdays are usually the days when I do DC related videos, you know, like Arrow and The Flash. Tuesdays are going to be my Marvel days from now on, so be sure to subscribe to get everything. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's get started. Here are my top five favorite Flash stories. Number five, the Blitz storyline. This, like most of the good Flash stories in recent memory, is a Jeff Johns rewriting of the origin of Professor Zoom, or just Zoom in his pre-New 52 incarnation. What's really cool about the story is that Johns makes Wally West, the current Flash of the time, complicit in the origin of his greatest nemesis. And he ties it back all the way to the trial of Barry Allen from the 1980s comic when he killed the second Professor Zoom. The Professor Zoom in this story though is the third version of the character, the Hunter Zolomon version. On the TV series it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be Edward Thon, which is kind of a riff on the second Professor Zoom character, Aobar Thon. Number four, the first return of Barry Allen during the 1990s. This story happened in the same year that they, one, killed Superman in Death of Superman, and two, Bane broke Batman's spine during Nightfall. So bringing Barry Allen back from the dead almost went unnoticed. The character had been killed during Crisis on Infinite Earths and had been out of the comics ever since then, which was about seven years. The story is all about Barry Allen rediscovering himself and Wally West, who had become the new Flash, learning to share the spotlight. This is a really good comic to read if you want to learn about the physics of the Speed Force. It's a little like Mythbusters Flash Edition, and it's got this crazy twist ending that's totally awesome. Number three, this one's all about the villains, Rogue's Revenge. This is an awesome Flash story that focuses on the rogues during the events of Final Crisis during 2008 and 2009. It picks up right after they kill Bart Allen and gives you a really deep cut of what it's like to be a Flash villain. They're a lot like the Suicide Squad in that they're not crazy evil like Zoom, but they're not really good people either. It's totally possible that they could do a story like this in one or two episodes, you know, minus the details of Final Crisis. Just a villain-centric arc for an entire episode. It'd be just like Arrow doing an episode that followed mostly Slade instead of Oliver. Number two, Flashpoint, the end of Jeff Johns. This was the last Flash title that Jeff Johns wrote and the last Flash book before the New 52 reboot. The story can be kind of hard to follow if you're new to the idea of how time paradoxes work, but essentially Zoom changes the past, creating a new timeline, and Barry Allen fixes it, but in the process makes himself a living paradox, essentially erasing himself from existence. The solution to the problem though is really ingenious because they use it to explain how in real life, the DC, Vertigo, and Wildstorm comic book universes now exist together in the New 52 reboot. So it solved this huge problem that DC had. They had all these different characters and their different imprints, and they needed a way to bring them all together, just like Marvel brought their characters together. And my number one favorite Flash story, no surprise here, Rebirth. So rewind to the beginning. This story is actually the start of Jeff Johns' second run on The Flash with Ethan Van Siever. They had just rebooted Green Lantern and done the Sinestro Core War, which by the way is amazing. The story is all about the second return of Barry Allen after the events of Final Crisis and includes characters from all over The Flash's 70 year comic book history. It also treats the different types of powers each version of The Flash has in very interesting ways. You know, for instance, Jay Garrick's super speed is different from the way Barry Allen and Wally West are affected by the speed force. So Rebirth kind of reimagines the shared Flash universe. So since then, The Flash has been rebooted again for the New 52 universe. So there are a ton of other Flash stories. I mean, it's been going on for almost 70 years now, but I consider these five to be the best. You really can't go wrong with Jeff Johns. He's actually doing Justice League right now. But now it's your turn. Let me know below in the comments, what is your favorite Flash story? And do you think they're gonna do a lot of comic book based stories during season one of the TV show? Or are they gonna try and do their own thing? So like I said earlier, Tuesday is gonna be my new big Marvel day and Wednesday is gonna be big Arrow day. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. I'm also working on a big Captain America three video for tomorrow. Right now you can click here to get my first preview for the Flash TV show. And you can click here to learn all about Arrow season three. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. High fives.